white sandy beaches, turquoise blue waters, sipping on a cocktail watching the sun. Let's try that again. Believe me, this is great. This is paradise. But to come here and just do this would be a bit of a travesty. Rich cultural history, exotic cuisine, a love for nature and that spirit of adventure make this a perfect family holiday destination. Welcome to Plush Places, I'm Rahul Jaktiani and you and I are going to explore the gorgeous island of Mauritius beyond just the beaches. It took a mere six hours to fly to Mauritius, a beautiful island off the coast of Africa. I landed in the south and the road journey to the north, less than a couple of hours, had me driving through miles and miles of sugarcane plantations, a significant driver of the island's economy. I checked into the Zilwa Attitude Hotel, a quintessentially Mauritian beachside property and spent the rest of the day lounging around, catching the sunset and sipping on a cocktail. You know, as first days are usually meant to be. This was going to be the first of a couple of hotels I'd stay at during this whirlwind week-long trip. And I intended to make the most of this easy day. I don't know about you, but I love nature and greenery as much as I love the beach life and Mauritius has both in abundance as I started my morning at the lovely Pamplemousses Botanical Garden, now named after the former Prime Minister of Mauritius. The oldest botanical garden in the Southern Hemisphere with a wide variety of exotic flora and trees planted by world leaders and royalty. I was most impressed with the giant water lilies, arguably the most impressive sight in the garden. A short ride away, I got my first glimpse into the colonial influence in Mauritius at Chateau de la Bourdonnais, a 19th century mansion built on an expansive estate. While every piece of furniture and artifact has a story of its own, what really stood out for me was the overall design of the chateau itself, seamlessly blending elements of French and British architecture. Don't miss the hand-painted wallpaper in the dining room imported from France, or the French style sitting in the living room. A little later in the day, and had be tempted to crawl into the stunning four-poster Victorian bed, and I'm pretty sure that would have been frowned upon. I think it was for the best that I stayed outside, and peacefully gazed at the greens in front of me. My history lesson continued at a Pravasi Ghat, or the Immigration Depot where almost half a million indentured labourers from India arrived during the British colonial era to work in the sugarcane plantations. A UNESCO World Heritage Site, symbolic here are the flight of 14 steps that the labourers had to lay foot on before entering the immigration depot. The Indian connection is also very visible at Grand Bassin or Ganga Talao a beautiful and serene lake that represents the Holy River Ganga, or Ganges in India. A good day so far, and blessed by the Lord, it was now time for a tea break. And Mauritius offers a lovely tea route starting at the Domaine d'Aubignon, a French colonial house that's now a popular museum. The real draw for me, however, was the Bois Sherry Tea Plantation nestled in a cozy village with mesmerizing views of the crater lake. I sat myself down for a tasting session of some of the region's finest herbal teas. Now it was only going to be a matter of time till I got some salt in my hair. An early morning start took me to the Black River, the ideal spot for watching a few playful dolphins go about their routine. Obviously I had to jump in and say hello. Where are they? Where'd they go? Oh, there they are, but they kept getting away. 
Am I not a friendly face? Well, swimming with dolphins was fun, but here's an animal you don't want to get up close with. Let's go. A croc croc here and a croc croc there. You can't exactly hang out with these guys, can you? So I quietly moved on in search of new buddies I could spend an afternoon with. And finally, I can relax a bit because here's an animal that's not gonna rush me. Who thinks slow and steady wins the race? Totally my vibe. I had just about whetted my appetite for a bit of adventure so far and a trip to Valley du Coulio took it up a couple of notches. A 1.5 km long zip line, the third longest in the world was absolutely exhilarating and right up my alley. This was so freaking cool. Man, what an adrenaline rush. This was followed by a 350 meter walk across a suspension bridge, also known as a Nepali bridge. Scary? Well, the scarier the better if you ask me. And that's how it's done. But now, I could really do with a drink. I made a pit stop at Takamaka Winery and it was time to unwind and have a little bit of fun. I'm getting a hint of fruit. Very vibrant, you know, bright, uh, bright acidity, like blades of grass blowing in the mineral filled air of the Indian Ocean. Okay, I just made that up, but it is fruity and I'm just going to have Alexander talk more about the wine. We have very ripe fruit, we have a ripe apricot, uh, ripe peaches and uh, we have a little hint of honey as well and very, very powerful, very, uh, very exuberant nose. Another day, another drink. Island living at its best. Ramuri de Chamarel, a rum distillery that cultivates its own sugarcane, is another must visit spot. With so many different varieties on offer, it was unlikely I was going to hold back. In high spirits, I was now ready for anything. Escal Creole, a cute family-owned restaurant offering authentic Mauritian Creole cuisine. Food that's a combination of native African, French, Indian and Chinese. We will use octopus, we will use the fish. We, we are fun of, um, of uh, venison, uh, wild boar. Exotic meats, huh? Bring it on. It had been a busy week so far and I spent the last couple of days at the plush Heritage La Telfe Golf and Wellness Resort. A luxurious property on the pristine southern coast of Mauritius. I could spend all day walking around exploring the tranquil vibe of this place. With its own 18-hole golf course, Voted amongst the best in the entire Indian Ocean region. Even a rookie like myself couldn't resist to go. I have always wanted to learn golf, but somehow life got in the way. Well, I'm still young, it's never too late. And you know how they say the best deals are made on the golf course? Well, I've got a deal with this guy that I'm not going anywhere till I somewhat get this right. So, Gabi, let's go work on that swing. 
a few pointers from Kavi and I felt like a pro. But my ego was just about to get crushed. Whoops! Now that hurts. It took more than just a few tries before I even connected one. But I guess that's par for the course, right? That's more like it. Seldom does an island boast of so many different activities and experiences. And I was happy to just soak it all in. I gotta say this has been one hell of a trip. I'm surprised I waited this long to visit Mauritius. I can guarantee you're gonna love it here too. So until my next destination, ciao.